Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see a numerical on BBS of circular column that is bar bending schedule of circular column. So let's see first the problem statement. It says work out quantity of steel for a circular column. The type of column they have given is circular column with the following data. What data they have given? Let's see. Diameter of column is 500 mm. Height of column is 5000 mm. That is 5 meter. Main steel, there are 8 bars of 12 mm diameter and the type of steel they have given is tor steel. Links are 8 mm diameter. They are mild steel and they are placed at 150 mm center to center. And they have also given the section here. You can see the section. The diameter of column is 500 mm. Length they have given 5 meter. Then cover they have shown but they have not given. So we can assume the cover. Then links they have given 8 mm. And there are 8 number of main bars. And the diameter of main bars are 12. So let's calculate the quantity. See first I will calculate or I will write down the given data that they have given. The diameter is 500 mm, in meter it is 0 0.50 meter. Height they have given 5000 mm, in meter it is 5 meter. Diameter of main steel they have given 12 mm. If you want to convert this into meter, I will divide it by 1000 because we know 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm. So 12 divided by 1000 which will give you 0 0.012 meter. This is the diameter of main steel and there are such 8 number of bars. Then First, I will calculate the volume of main steel. So, the volume of main steel can be calculated area into length because we know that what is the formula of volume? It is nothing but area into length. So, volume of main steel will be area of main steel multiplied by length of that bar. And length of that bar is nothing but height of column. So, how you can calculate the area of steel as it is a circular bar? So the area can be taken as pi by 4 into d square and there are 8 such bars. So what I will do, I will multiply it by number and then I will multiply it by the area. So the area will be this formula pi by 4 into d square that is pi by 4 into 0 0.012 square. Now why I have taken 0 0.02? The diameter of bar I am taking it in meter. That's why I have taken 0 0.02 raised to 2 that is 0 0.02 square. So pi by 4 into d square, this is the area. There are 8 numbers, therefore I am multiplying it by 8 here. And I have multiplied by 5, that is nothing but your length of bar. As they have given the height of column is 5 meter. So the total length of bar will be 5 meter. And they have not mentioned whether the bar are taken extra length you have to add or not. So just this length will be there. So the formula will be 8 into pi by 4 into 0 0.012 square into 5. This pi by 4 into 0 0.012 square is the area. 8 is the number and 5 is the length of bar. So which comes as 0 0.00452 meter cube. This is the volume of main steel. Now we have calculated the volume of main steel. The only thing remaining is to convert this volume into weight. So how you can convert this volume into weight? See weight of tor steel that 12 mm bar will be volume into density. If you want multiply the volume with density of steel you will get the total weight of that bar. So we have calculated volume of main steel it is 0 0.00452 meter cube and density of steel remember always the density of steel is always taken as 7850 kg per meter cube. So volume is 0 0.04 5.2 into density 7850 which comes as 35.51 kg. How I got this value? I will tell you again. Volume into density is the weight. Volume we have calculated it is area into length and that is 0 0.00452 and density of steel always you have to take as 7850 kg per meter cube. So which gives you 35.51 kg. Then main steel we have calculated. Now the only part remaining is the links or you can say stirrups. See in column they are called as links and in beam they are called as stirrups. So if you get confused between links, links are nothing but stirrups. But 
they are called stirrup in beam not in the column in column they are called as links so first i will calculate number of links because they have not given the number of links so what will be the formula it will be very simple we have taken this uh, same type of numerical in the beam in the beam we have calculated the um, calculated it by the same formula so the number of links will be height of column divided by spacing plus 1 height of column they have given it is 5000 mm divided by spacing of stirrup see in the problem statement they have given 8 mm diameter bar mild steel at the rate 150 mm that is nothing but your links spacing so 5000 divided by 150 plus 1 that gives you a value of 34.33 i will round it to 35 numbers so the number of links will be 35 now diameter of link they have given diameter of link it is 8 mm so 8 divided by 1000 why i am taking 1000 as i told you 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm so i will convert this 8 mm into 8 uh, into meter so how you can convert 8 divided by 1000 that gives you 0 0.008 meter now the last part similarly the way you calculated uh, the weight of bar or volume of bar of main steel similarly you can calculate also for this volume of links will be area of links into length of links but we do we do not uh, we don't know the length of links so first i will calculate the length of links see for that what i will do i will first calculate the diameter of link see in the section the diameter of column is 500 mm but we don't know the diameter of links so how you can calculate the diameter of link it will be simply total diameter of column minus two times the cover and the cover they have not given so what i will do i will assume the cover so in this numerical i am assuming it as 40 mm so the diameter of link will be i will be denoting it by small d1 so it will be 5500 minus 2 into cover cover is 40 mm I have assumed here if they are they are not giving if they are not given in the numerical I will be assuming it as 40 mm generally it is taken as 40 mm for the column so the diameter of link will be 500 mm that is diameter of column minus 2 times cover so which gives you value of 420 mm now we have calculated the diameter of links but we have to find out the length of link length is nothing but your perimeter na? so how you can calculate the perimeter it will be pi d pi into diameter so length of links formula will be pi d1 plus 24 pi now we know that perimeter will be pi d now why to take this 24 pi so remember this is nothing but your hook length because we have to form hooks in the bar to proper encourage for proper encourage so this extra length is taken this is nothing but your 24 pi so length of links will be pi d1 plus 24 pi pi uh, i will put it as it is the value you can take it as 3.1415 d1 is 450 and 24 pi 24 into 5 5 means diameter of links diameter of links is 8 mm so which gives you value of 1511 mm 43.43 mm so which approximately equal to 1.511 meter it is 1511 mm or 1.511 meter now length is calculated let's calculate its volume the same way you have calculated for the main bar so volume of links will be 35 multiplied by pi by 4 into d square now this 35 is the number and pi by 4 into d square is the area so pi by 4 into d square that is pi by 4 into 0 0.008 square is the area multiply by number and multiply by its length that will give you the volume what is the formula of volume it is area into length area is pi by 4 into d square and length is 1.511 but i am also multiplying it by the numbers because we have to calculate all the length total length of uh, all the links so it is 35 into pi by 4 into 0 0.008 square into 1.511 which gives you 0 0.002658 meter cube and last step is to, is to calculate the volume of links so volume of links can be calculated by the formula volume into density volume it is 0 0.002658 meter cube 
and density as i told you the density of steel is always taken as 7850 kg per meter cube so weight of links will be volume that is 0.002658 into 7850 that gives you 20.86 kg now what you can do you can convert this same data into table format bar bending schedule format but what i did i calculated it manually so that you can understand it and you can take the format from other uh, numericals or other videos because i have given the format how you can prepare the bbs format will be same but only difference will be calculation part so for your explanation what i did i took it as a explanation points or you can prepare the table also so this was the video in which we calculated the quantity of steel for a circular column steel means we have calculated the quantity of main steel and we have calculated the quantity of links that is stirrups but stirrups they are called as stirrups in the beam and remember in column they are called as links thank you